So today's video is all about why I love Long Beach, and I think after watching this video, you will also. My name is Steve Arthur, and I am a realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities. Well, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I do a video. And I do put out these videos every single week. Now, I have been helping families relocate to the Long Beach area and also helping families relocate out of California to fulfill their dreams. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about moving to the area or moving out of the area, all you gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email. Well, heck, you can even send a smoke signal or release the carrier pigeons. It doesn't matter as long as you get hold of me so I can have your back for your next move. Let's get going with today's topic. Yeah, Long Beach is a big melting pot of people, religions, food, ethnicities. We're located right down the street from the happiest place on earth. You can't forget about my personal favorite, Knott's Berry Farm. And that's where I used to take my son when he was little. Now they're always filming something here in Long Beach, whether it be for movies, uh, TV shows, films. They're always filming. They always use Long Beach as a backdrop. And we are the seventh largest city in the state of California. I don't care. Well, somebody might. And Long Beach is also the center for petroleum, whether it be onshore or offshore oil. And let me tell you, I, I worked out there for a brief time and uh, it is definitely not one of the things I love about Long Beach. It is nasty out there. They look pretty from here, but they're nasty out there. The shipping industry is huge because we do have one of the largest ports in the world. We even have a cool $1.5 trillion bridge. It's pretty impressive. It's so huge. Wow, it's, I don't know what it is about this city. Our tourism is also fantastic due to our location. All the great events we put on and the convention centers. And of course, the weather. And not to mention next week's biggest and fastest and loudest party in the world. Jump, and here comes the yellow and red DHL Honda of Run. The Long Beach Grand Prix. Yep, that's gonna be here next week. So I think you can expect some footage from there. The aerospace used to have a huge impact on the economy here. And then Boeing moved its C-17 plant up to Seattle, leaving us with a lot of land. So now we have the Long Beach Exchange where you can go and shop and dine and have some great experiences. But the aerospace industry still has a strong foothold in the economy here. And there is so much to do, to see, to learn. Basically, you can live any which way that you want and can afford because we got it. From beautiful beachfront homes to gated communities to absolute family-friendly neighborhoods that you'll love, to condos and affordable apartments, and basically everything in between. Now, I was fortunate enough to be born here in Long Beach. My father was also born here in Long Beach, but my mom, yeah, she's a New Yorker, but we don't hold that against her. But she relocated when she was out here at uh, age 12 when her father had passed away. So you had my little grandmother, Carol, taking three kids, a dog, a canary, a cross country to Bellflower, California. That must have been quite a trip, just driving by themselves. Now, let me remind you something. This was 77 years ago. And I think they, well, they made it and everything worked out great for my mother and everybody else because she met my father at St. Anthony's High School and next month we will be celebrating their 70th wedding anniversary. Did I mention I'm the youngest of seven and I got like 20 something grandchildren and 20 something great grandchildren. So I think it worked out. So I grew up right by Long Beach City College right there by the Liberal Arts Campus. So growing up right there, I had Hartwell Park as the biggest front yard a kid could have. It was awesome. All the neighborhood kids would always be there playing football, hot box or there was this group of trees that we called the forest and we'd make trails between it 
and we'd race our bikes. And by the end of the day, there'd be 15, 20, 25 kids. We'd have different races, different categories. It was awesome, good times. So in my professional career here in Long Beach, I've been building houses with a local contractor and I was also a licensed real estate appraiser for years. So I truly do know what it's like to live here in Long Beach and the surrounding cities and what you will love and most likely what you're gonna want to avoid. Danger. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Long Beach, the surrounding city, Southern California, it's not for everybody. Oh, hell no. But we do have great cities from the South Bay all the way down to San Diego. From beaches to parks to the local watering holes to restaurants, the newest hot spots, the best neighborhoods. But what it really comes down to is the lifestyle that you want to live and what you can afford. Now, Long Beach can get a bad rap for those people who think that west of the 605 freeway is nothing but ghetto. But the truth is, it couldn't be the, more of the opposite. Long Beach has some beautiful, picturesque homes, beautiful neighborhoods, luxurious homes, country clubs, waterfront parks, and, and the list really just keeps on going. If you're the sporting kind of family, we've got you covered also. We've got the Dodgers and Angels. We have the Rams and the Chargers that both play at the brand new SoFi Stadium. We have the Lakers at Staples Center, and we have the Clippers, which just broke ground on their brand new stadium. We also have the Kings, and we also have the professional soccer team, the Galaxy. I love soccer! Here we go, Galaxy! Here we go! Here we go, Galaxy! Here we go! So, there is no shortage of sporting events for you guys to attend. Now, for the businessman that's on the go, Long Beach has the best airport that there is, period. And it's kind of a secret, but it is growing now. It is just an awesome airport. I love it. We also have the Orange County Airport, John Wayne Airport, which is about a half an hour south down the 405 freeway. And we also have the LAX Airport, which is about a half an hour north on the 405 freeway. The beach. So, tell me true. Are you guys for scuba? So that the kids could play, you have the beach for the bigger kids and also the beach for the little ones. Now I live in the 90808 right by the Long Beach Airport and that's about 10 to 15 minutes away. So whatever neighborhood or zip code that you settle into, all your amenities are gonna be easily accessible. Dry cleaners, gym. Mm. I've been working out, I'm huge. <laughs> Coffee shops, sushi, uh, marijuana dispensaries, everything and in some neighborhoods these are all walkable now like i said i live right by the long beach airport and i've never had problem with crime at all nor have my neighbors and when you're driving down the street people actually still wave to you good morning good morning it's just that kind of feel and then when people walk in their dogs and the dogs want to mark the territory they pick up after them too i love it here the park systems here are just awesome with sports fields such as soccer and baseball that supports both adults, kids, and even the little ones. And there's co-ed sports too, which I think is really fun to watch because I did play every single sport there at Hartwell Park. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a pedal pusher kind of a guy. I'm more of a, let's just go push some weights around at the gym. But if you are, if you're into biking and jogging, we have you covered. There's miles and miles of bike paths and jogging paths. Your only decision is gonna be, do you want to ride on the beautiful beach or do you wanna ride inland and just check out some of the homes? There are always friendly groups that get together, they meet, you can join up, but they just plan out different rides for the weeks and everything. They meet up for the, for the big weekend ride. My cousin's trying to get me to uh, join a hiking group right now, but uh, hiking on the weekends for a realtor mm, doesn't work too well. But these groups are real easy to join, real easy to find. It's a great way to meet friends if you're gonna be moving to the area. But for whatever you're into, there is a group for it, from yoga on the beach to the senior citizens walking in the mall in the morning, so that way they have a safe, controlled uh, temperature environment with a flat surface. I think it's really a great thing that the malls do that for the senior citizens. 
And we do have our chain grocery stores here, such as Vons, Ralph's, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. But what's really cool is almost every community will have a farmer's market. We have one walking distance from our house that we go over to on Sunday mornings. You get really good deals on fresh fruit, flowers, vegetables, some meat. Uh, see my neighbors walking around, talk a little bit. And every so often I'll get my dad a couple of calamari steaks because that's his ultimate treat. But he's nine years old and not supposed to be eating them all the time. But like I said earlier, you can join these groups and they will plan out all these rides for you. And from what I hear, they're really fun. Now, I love going out for a nice dinner. And if you're into upscale dining, there are some fantastic restaurants that are scattered throughout Long Beach. But when you go downtown, that's when your dining experience gets kicked up just a little bit. We have some places that have just been around forever and for a reason, because they're damn good such as the 555 or the Triple Nickel. And now we have these new up and coming restaurants with these younger chefs and owners with just, who wanna be so creative in the kitchen and experiment and do these new things. And they are working. But what's really been taken over is the breweries. They're family oriented, fun, energetic, great food, great beer, cater to the kids, and really, they're in competition for your business because these breweries are coming up. Everybody knows they gotta kick it up a notch to get your business again. And some of the breweries on the weekends now, they'll get like three or four food trucks out in front. So you can have a really, really great option of food to choose from. Now here is where I like to switch things up a little bit because what I think is really cool about Long Beach is its proximity to everything. If you're the type of person that loves the Four Seasons, you can have everything within two hours. Let me explain. So you're missing the snow and you, you wanna go and just get some skiing in and culling up by the fire and looking at the snow. The city of Big Bear is only two hours away and that is where you can do all of your winter activities. I personally have had some great times up there staying in cabins, learning how to ski, snowboard, and of course, Oktoberfest! Are you gonna have a good time at Oktoberfest or are you gonna have a good time at Oktoberfest? They say it's the best one this side of the Mississippi. So when you go on your way out, make sure you stop by Chad's place because it wouldn't be a trip to Big Bear if you didn't. You'll see what I mean. Now, if you're more of a sun person and prefer the desert, well, the world famous Palm Springs is only two hours away also. And that is where the snowbirds love to stay. Hey, what's a snowbird? That's someone who like lives in say Chicago, somewhere where there's a lot of snow. And what they're gonna live there during the summer months and then during the winter months, they'll live in Pond Springs because I guess they just don't like to shovel snow. But that's where you can just relax by the pool all day long and get ready for the world-class nightlife that Pond Springs does offer. The gourmet restaurants and just really some of the coolest clubs that there are, period. But your choice, you can also spend your time at the shops of El Paseo, which is basically like the Rodeo Drive of Beverly Hills, but the El Paseo of Palm Springs. And it is really, really cool. High-end uh, shops and everything, but they got some really great sidewalk dining, right? So this is why snowbirds love Palm Springs during the winter months. Here's what a typical day would look like for you. The sun would rise about 6.30, where it's about eh, 47 degrees. And then midday, it'll be around 75, where it's just feeling nice. And then you're gonna have your happy hour about 5.30 when the sun sets. And the temperature's gonna be about 65 degrees. So that's why the snowbirds come from Chicago or wherever there's snow. 
and move there. So beautiful San Diego is also a two hour drive to the south of us. I just recently stayed down there for a few nights and it was fantastic. Stay at the Omni Hotel and just coincidence that the Dodgers happen to be playing, staying at that hotel and walking across to Petco Park, playing right there. So yeah, we got tickets. But it was cool to see all the families checking in with all their Dodger gears on, the little ones, and just so excited to go to the games. It was fun to watch. And overall, San Diego, right there at the Gas Lamp District, was just beautiful and fun. Didn't make it to Old World this time. But if you're looking for some great margaritas, some authentic Mexican food, that is the place to go. But then again, you are pretty close to the border, so right down the street. We used to go down there all the time, cross the border, going to Tijuana, go down to Puerto Nuevo, get our lobster dinner, uh, and then we'd go camp down at K39 to go surf, and just all good times. I don't know about that stuff anymore. So if you just want to relax and have a good time and not do too much of anything. Well, the wine country is to the north of us. First stop, you're gonna stop off Santa Barbara. That is my go-to place when I need to get away. It's about two hours on the coast. You sit right there, your hotel overlooking the pier, it's great. You want some good food? Stay away from the pier. Pro tip here, from the pier, walk around the parking lot, go to the other side. Look back at the pier, okay? You'll be at Brophy Brothers. That's where you wanna eat. You're looking at the mountains, you're looking at the pier, you're on the other side of the harbor. That's the place to go. And then you head over to wine country where you can tour all the vineyards, sample all the wines. Now, they also have this thing called the Vintners Festival. Now, this is where all the wineries get together. They have this big event. All the restaurants from Solvang come in, so they do everything too. And the, the year I went, it was at the Firestone Winery. So you're out there in the field, big old grass field, every winery was there. It was just awesome. It's only It was only three hours long, but three hours of straight drinking wine in the sun. And not to mention, I ran into a guy I knew who was a winemaker for Sanford and that was over at that point. On the way there, everybody's quiet and check this out. They're looking at the itinerary. What are we gonna do? Look at first. And on the way back, everybody's like, ah, woo, party. I offered this guy $50 for a Coors Light. It was the best Coors Light I've ever had. <laughs> There's antique marts and car marts. Uh, those are both at Veteran Stadium. Hiking and biking trails like we talked about and public pools to help keep the kids cool during the summer months. We have 287 days of sun, eight months of 75 to 85 degrees with only 14 inches of rain. We do need more of that though. And December is the coldest month, averaging in at 46. I'm just waiting for the people back east to stop laughing. Well, you guys earned that one. I'll give you that. Trust me, you've got all my respect. But you mix in some of the weekend trips and you could really be enjoying Long Beach, Southern California, and the lifestyle that you want. So I hope you enjoyed some of the reasons why I love Long Beach, and I think you will too. Again, my name's Steve Arthur. I am a realtor here in the Long Beach area and all the surrounding city. So if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I do a video. And I do these videos every single week. If you or anybody that you may know is thinking about moving to the Long Beach area or one of the surrounding cities, all you gotta do is shoot a text, send an email, well hell, you can even do a smoke signal, send a carrier pigeon, or just register on my website for your free gift and I will personally reach out to you so we can discuss your real estate goals and so I can have your back on your next move. Until next time, you take care.